All right, this is my new Cinco uh, mini mixing console. This is perfect for managing like a small podcast. Um, what I love is we've got two XLR high Z inputs. What's cool about these is you can use them with an XLR uh, source or you can plug in uh, like a guitar or bass directly. Um, it works with either type of input. Um, high Z inputs are really cool. Um, here we have the uh, 48 volt phantom line uh, so that some uh, mics that are like condenser mics or uh, lavalier mics, uh, they use the 48 volt phantom power. Um, this means I don't have to use an external 48 volt, volt amp. Uh, and of course there's a indicator right here to let you know that when you have that on. Uh, going through, you have the standard um, gain for all three channels, um, high and low, and then the volume for all three channels. Now, the third channel is mixed between three and four. Um, so you got two balanced inputs, uh, or an RCA component input, uh, like coming off of a keyboard. Um, you also have the record um, output, and then a left and right main. Uh, these can be used to connect to an external amplifier uh, or to, you know, uh, larger amplified speakers. Uh, it does have a USB input, uh, so you can jump up a whole bunch of, like, MP3s onto a USB stick and plug it in here. Uh, I was cool for playing along with them or karaoke. Uh, we have a del delay, which is like a reverb. Uh, that's right here as well as the repeat, which is like an echo function. Your main volume, and then headphone volume with the headphone output. Um, one of the things that I like the best about this, again, we have the EFX switches, um, and these determine how much of the delay and repeat get used on that sit on that channel. Pretty standard stuff for a mixer. Um, it charges off of a five volt micro USB cable. Um, but one of the cool things is this little button here, um, which you see right now it says PC, that's because it's actually hooked up. And as it stands right now, this is functioning as an external sound card for my PC uh, so that I can plug into this and it goes directly into my PC for use with uh, any PC recording software. Uh, so that's really cool. But you hit that button and it switches over to the line so that you can use um, the line output. Anyway, it's a cool little uh, unit. It does come with a couple of uh, doodads. It's got a 3.5 um, to dual 3.5. Uh, this is for splitting a microphone and headphones, uh, like off of a phone. And then it has a standard 3.5 to dual RCA pretty standard cables and it does come with the micro USB cable um, so far I've done a little bit with it um, recorded a few things uh, a little bit of music and uh, it's working really good um, I'm hoping to keep this available uh, when I'm not in the studio um, it's hyper portable because it charges off of USB so I can uh, just plug it in as I go. I can run it off of a power bank or off of my uh, laptop. So that is spectacular. Uh, hyper portable, super lightweight, um, but it's still firm and sturdy. Uh, and for a size comparison, uh, it's fairly small. I've had gaming, um, gaming keyboards that were bigger than this. So it doesn't take up a ton of desk space, doesn't take up a ton of space in my bag, and uh, again, it gives me uh, the flexibility to throw together four channels.